we're, we're about as trying to improve outcomes for frail older people. Uh, so older people are growing as a population, or older people are attending hospitals, and they haven't always got the best deal out of hospitals. Um, what we're trying to do is improve that. And one of the key aspects is making sure that when older people are assessed, we take a broad assessment that looks at the range of issues that they might be facing. So if I give you an example, um, somebody might come into hospital in the emergency department with a, a form trip and they may or may not have injured themselves, but they may be well enough to go to a cone, uh, so they might be seen by the emergency department team, uh, sent home, uh, patched up and sent home, um, only then to fall again a few days later and then injure themselves more seriously, perhaps even fractured. And what we've been trying to do is say, look, when older people attend to hospital, we need to take that as an important sign or signal that things are starting to go wrong and then look more, more broadly at that individual and make sure that we've assessed all of the potential issues. So if they're falling, what have we done to prevent them falling again in the future? What have we done to prevent them, reduce their risk of fracture? Have we checked to make sure their memory is okay, that they're uh, not developing any cognitive impairment, memory issues, uh, check that they're continent and they're not having trouble with the water work. So we do that broad assessment of you then to putting in, into place plans that will help to address all of these different aspects and keep people healthy and well, preferably at home.